Hi, this is Angie with Angie's Crafting with Diamonds on YouTube and Instagram. Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here, it's great to meet you. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so glad you've come back to see more. This is the second part of a how to diamond paint uh, tutorial that I've been working on. The first one took you from the very beginning of beginning of opening this little kit all the way through to how to place your first drills with some tips and tricks. And today's video is going to show you how to use the multi-placers, the four and seven placers that come included in the kit. These are the ones that came with this kit. Along with that, we have the heart-shaped wax that came in the kit and a diamond painting tray. This is a diamond art club one and the drills and we also have our pen and squishy and the multi-placers so if you haven't seen part one go take a look it's in my playlists under how to and yeah let's get going so this kit is called the beautiful eye it is 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters by Patrice Murciano and it's a diamond art club kit that is available at the time of this recording. And I had a lot of fun. I see how pretty it came out, all the colors. It came out quite nicely, the knit. At least, well, I think it did, right? So one of the things we're going to do is we're going to reuse my hack that we used before, which was to place the ruler along the glue line at the bottom. And I'll stick to the glue line, but it'll also give you a little more uh, confidence, I think, especially with multi-placing. It can be a little awkward at first, but once you've done it a few times, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it and find your own way to do it. So we'll zoom in a little there. So the first thing we're going to do is take our drills, put them in the tray. Get them lined up. Just give them gentle shakes. And if you tilt it down, you can see everything goes into nice, neat rows. Okay, so we're gonna try the four placer first. So let's put it in the end of our pen. And then we're going to take our pad of wax. This is the one we used last time. It's got holes in it already. I'm going to push this to the side so maybe it'd be easier to see and then I'll zoom in a bit more again hopefully you can see not look at my nails I need to go get my nails done that's not what we're here for we're here to do this so take your pen and just push down on it and circular if you do a little bit of a circular motion you'll see the wax hard to video comes up in the end and give that a little bit of a push and because we haven't loaded this pen before we should push it down again one more time like that and you can see that actually took that whole bit of wax out see that so on the end of your pen just give it a little push you could take your nail or maybe some tweezers and just slide it along the end to get rid of the excess. I don't know if you saw me do that. I just pulled my tweezers across the end. And you'll see there was some excess. It's on my thumb. It's hard to do the video up close. There it is. I'm just going to put that in my trash. There's no point in keeping it. We don't need that. But our, our multi-placer is full. I'll zoom back out again. It's gonna be lots of zooming in and outs on this. There you go, you can see that it's full and it's not sticking out the end, it's relatively flat, right? Because if you push really hard, it's gonna squish out and go everywhere all over your diamonds. And that's the thing for newbies. Um, you don't need to push hard on your pen for it to either pick up the drills or to place the drills down. The wax does the work for you. 
So now that I have this lined up, I'm going to kind of at an angle, go in and just line it up with four like that. And it picks up four. See how easy that was? I'll do it again. So there it is. And we'll just line up on four. And we pick up four. So now let's go over to our canvas and we're going to line it up along the bottom and we're going to put four. And do you see how I skipped a space in this color blocking section? I did the same thing when I demonstrated single placing when we started out on the bottom right hand corner over here. You can do the same method with multi placing. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to just pick up four again and I'm going to place it back down just gently and there it is so we'll do some more pick it up skip and put it down pick it up again and I'm going to use the checkerboard method where it just skips now I'll zoom in and do this again just in case you can't see it so here's the tray I'm going to tap it a little bit to keep them lined up. And try and do this. So, can you see that? Okay. So there we go. We just picked up four. Right? And then I'm going to place them. I'm trying to do this so that it doesn't get cut out on the feed. <laughs> it's kind of tricky, isn't it? Maybe I'll pull this over a little bit. And place it there like that we'll do some more I'll zoom it out a little bit maybe it's a little too close there that's probably like a happy medium right like that and this method works for round drills or square drills so I will just keep on going and that I can do that pattern through my whole section that I would like to work on. Right? Makes sense. And, you know, you can go quite a ways over however much you feel like working on. Like that. Okay, so a lot of people that use this method really enjoy it when they fill in the blanks, you know, fill in the grid. So we just use the same method. Fill it in, pick up four, just gently pop them in. And they can click in a little bit. You might have to give it a little nudge. But the drills will line themselves up because they're four-sided. Rounds are a little different, but we'll do rounds in a different video. I've got a kit coming to do that with, and I'll do the whole process all over again on a round kit so you can see how to do it. There are other ways to do things. My way is not the only way, right? And my way is probably the same as somebody else's too. There are only so many ways to do it. So... We're going to fill in that four spot like that and another four spot like that and you can kind of hear them crunching a little bit that's because they weren't absolutely perfectly lined up but that's normal they're never going to be absolutely perfectly lined up they'll straighten themselves out to a degree and that's what this ruler really helps with is keeping things reasonably lined up and you know, white is the hardest color to line up straight. So you can see mine is not perfect. But it gets the job done, doesn't it? Or you don't even have to do the grid method. You can just give this a little shake around. 
gently shake them, shake them so they're back the back, back of the tray. And I'm going to just continue on. There's another four spot and another four spot here. Another one will fit there. And then when you start getting more confident, you can just know, oh, well, I only need three. So I'm just going to pick up three this time and put three in the hole. Okay. Let's pull this down a little bit. And there. And there. And, you know, give yourself a break. Everything isn't, isn't learned overnight in one sitting, right? So can you see how well that went along? Now I'll show you how it works with the seven placer. So I'll take the four off and you can tell the difference. There's actually a number on the side of the placer. This is a seven placer, but it's exactly the same. But it's best to build your confidence with the four placer first. So I'll push this up and I'm going to fill this using the same method. I just push down and circulate on the wax, right? That actually looks like it filled it, but let's just double check because it can't overfill it. Just do it again. And Diamond Art Club always seems to give extra wax. So we've done that. You can see that it's sticking out the end. So you could take your tweezers or something, or even your nail if you wanted to use your nail and just scrape the end off. And it's nice and flat. I'll just get rid of that extra because we don't need it. And I think we need some more drills in our tray because we're going to pick up more this time. Just a few. Just to make it easy. Okay. There we go. We have those nicely lined up. Put them there. I'm going to do exactly the same thing I just did with the four placer, only this one's longer. So you just line it up and pick it up. Okay, so I'm going to skip one and I'm going to tip it. So I'm going to place the back end and then go forward and drop it down. That way it lines up better. And I should maybe that would have helped too to mention that with the four placer, that that's what I'm actually doing as I tip it and I drop it. And look, I only picked up, I picked up less drills that time. Eh, it, it doesn't really matter, right? So I'm gonna line that up and I'm gonna drop it. And I'm gonna line that up in that spot and drop it. Line that up and drop it. Just like that, I'm barely touching it, right? But look at the number of drills you can place once you get it all figured out. <laughs> These uh, color blocking is quite popular. It's not my favorite thing to do. It has, um, it's good in some parts and in other parts I'd rather do detail myself. That's just me. But you might absolutely love color blocking. So we just drop that in like that. And now we're going to go back and we're going to fill in those holes. And it doesn't matter if we didn't pick up, pick up enough because we can just use our single placer to fill that in. Shake. So whatever diamond painting you're working on, I hope you're having a good time. It's all about the R&R &R and the relaxation and enjoyment of the whole process. And uh, yeah. Let me know what you're working on in the comments or if you have any questions that I didn't wasn't able to answer 
And I might have thought I answered, but didn't. So I'm more than happy to give you some pointers or maybe help you go somewhere where you can find that help. Whether it's my channel or someone else's, it's totally fine. I'm just doing this for the fun of it. So, so you can see this is a little bit wavy. So I would actually use the end of the single placer to pull it down a little bit. And that can happen, right? So for the single placer, I'm going to just pick up the one and the one to fill those in. And they do make a noise when they click in. So they're tight fitting, right? You could actually just go along and single place it all if you wanted. And there is no, there's no rules. You're making your own rules. Okay? Don't let anybody tell you otherwise or make you feel bad because you might do it differently. Everybody finds their own way, right? This is a hobby. <laughs> Supposed to be fun. Do that. Get some more. Almost time to get more drills in my tray. I don't like picking up the ones down the sides. It's too awkward. So I don't do it. I just shake them around instead. Because that's what works for me. And that one didn't go quite the way I wanted it. So I'll just give it a little nudge with the end of my pen. Oh, and I didn't fill those in. So I'll just fill them in now. No big deal. There. Let's try and grab it from the side. Not my favorite thing to do, but I will because it's just sitting there. So yeah, I hope this really helps you and I hope you enjoy this. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go. My dog is barking. I think somebody is here with a delivery, but uh, I hope that you find this useful and check out this pretty little kit. It's a lot of fun to work on and it teaches you um, you get to do multi-placing and you get all these different colors. There's 32 colors. It's really quite pretty. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Please like and subscribe and I'd love to see you back here. Bye.